Hey guys! Well, I'm finally kind of trying to finish off my tree. Um, and as someone mentioned, uh, like a comment, a lovely comment, I always get lovely comments, you know, in my last video um, about me saying I still haven't done my tree, I still haven't done my tree. Um, and, and the person who sent me, and I really, really apologise, I can't remember who it was, but it was a lovely comment to say, um, the reason why Nikki hasn't finished her tree, or the reason why I've finished my tree is because I've been doing everyone else's. And that is so true, that is exactly it. Um, I've been doing everybody else's, so mine always, you know, gets left behind and gets done last. But I wouldn't have it any other way, because I enjoy doing things for others. Um, <clears throat> you know, whether it's for customers, paying customers, or whether it's not. It, you know, it's really um, something I really enjoy doing. So, yes, thank you very much for that lovely comment. Um, and to everybody who sends me lovely comments, I should, you know, say to everybody um, throughout the year, thank you to, to one and all. Anyway, so I'm doing a bit of um, um, budget friendly decorations and time saving. So if you haven't done your tree yet, or um, this might help you for next year, for the next season, I'm just going to give you a couple of tips. Now, this is clustering ball balls, is, is been around for a long time. I actually used to do clustering of ball balls a long, long time ago, before I started doing YouTube. Um, it's it gives it saves you from doing every single individual branch. I, I like the look of clustering the ball balls, so you can do sections like this. Now, with a tree like this, I don't want to cover the whole tree because it's a flocked tree. I want to see the Christmas tree. It's got pine cones on it as well. I want to see the pine cones. If I'm putting covering it in ball balls, the whole thing. What's the point of having a flock tree with pine cones on it? Do you know what I mean? So I want to see it. So what I've decided to do is cluster up the ball balls in one long garland, and I'm gonna and I'm bringing them as you can see. I've already started doing it on an angle. So I started up here, and they're coming down to the side, and it's coming down that side. Then I'm gonna do a smaller one from this angle, just there. Um, I've got. We'll come to how much more we'll in a minute. I've got these gold, where are they? I've got these gold leaf garlands. You can just see. Um, I've got some more over there, so I'll show you when I, when I come around. Um, I bought these in the south on TK Maxx for £2.50. And it was after Christmas, obviously. That is one of my big tips. If you you know, for whatever, for whatever you've got at the moment in your home and you're using, use it. If you can afford, and please don't go out and spend unnecessary money, if you can afford to go out after Christmas, go out after Christmas and get your Christmas decorations for the following season. I know people think, oh no, I can't be doing with that, you know. Honestly, it will save you a fortune. Please, you know, have a little think about it. Or if not, try, you know, do a bit of savings. So every month, put away two pounds if you can afford it. For the following year, that makes sense. So every time, you know, I mean, you, I, Sean always needs cash on the side. Cut coins. I'm always putting in the books. <laughs> Actually, what, no, that's not true. Well, I, I collect these coins and I put them in the kids' money boxes. Um, so, you know, you might find two pounds on the side. Have yourself a little jar of your Christmas decoration fund. Honestly, go out after Christmas, you'll buy all your decorations for half the price. So anyway, that's my, that's my little tip. So we've still got snow, as you can see outside, <clears throat> um, which is... It's all right, but you know, it looks pretty, but it's a pain in the ass. And it, really. Right, okay, so let's crack on. So all I'm doing with this garland is I'm trying to kind of weave it in 
and around the baubles itself. So it's like a vine, so it looks like it's growing naturally. So I'm literally going all the way through it. To be honest with you, I'm not really going to see that kind of corner. I'm only looking at the front angle like this. Because I've kind of positioned it in the corner, um, I want it to face that way rather than that way, if that makes sense. So doing this angle like this gives it a real impact. But a tip I will give you, if you've got too much on the front or the side or whatever, you need to be careful because it will tip. It will be front heavy and it will tip. So you may need to put something heavy on your face to keep it straight. And a little one up there. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna carry on making another cluster to go down there. And I'll be back when I've done that. I'm not going to film it because it, it, I've got to thread all these up and it'll take a bit, a bit of time. Um, I'm going to carry on. I just want to do a small one on this section down here and then I'll be back in the mode. up there, another one down there, and then another one at the bottom. I've got these gorgeous pairs. I bought these in, uh, oh, Ross, which is in, in Florida, but I, I 
they probably might have been Ross in other states. The original price for these was in the sale. The original price was ten pound. I got them for four ninety nine, and they came four in a box. And I managed to pick up um, two boxes. And you may have seen the video I did. Oh, probably a couple of years ago, maybe. They, all they are is foam in the shape of a pear, and they just got glitter all over them. Really, really sweet. So I'm going to kind of put these in and around the ball balls as well. And because they're on sticks, I can just poke them in. And they are just going to look super glam. Yeah, it's all coming together. So I'm literally just going around, placing them in. So as I say, go out after Christmas, have a look if you can. Um, pick up some real bark, some Christmas bargains. Oh, they're so nice, so nice, love them. Put them all down there like that. Actually, let me come around a bit. Put them up here. In the, I've made myself a tree topper, as you can see, which is this tall thing here. Um, I did have a big bow on it, but I weren't keen on the bow. I put it on um, and then I kind of took it off. And you, you may have seen the tree topper I, I put on my business page, on my Facebook business page, which I'll put all the details in the uh, description for you. I did have a big bow on it. And then as I'm adding on the baubles, I actually don't think it needs a big bow. So I've just literally got the tree topper itself and then obviously going around dotting the extra elements. I've got these pine cones in here as well. One, hold on a minute, I think I'm gonna come down here a little bit. Oh God, I've got three left and I'm trying to find a space. I want to see them because they're so nice. So I don't want to bunch them in so that you so that they blend in with the baubles. If that makes sense, I want to be able to actually see them. Yeah, it's coming together lovely. Very pretty. Let me move this one about a bit. Yeah. Just play around with your tree um, and it will look it will look lovely. It's just playing around with colours, experiment as well. And of course, there goes the bone! Oh no, you can't see what I mean. But these lovely big pine cones. In a second, you probably can't see from there, but in a second I'll bring you round. Um, and this was my Christmas tree I bought from Home Base, which originally was 120 pound, and in a sale of 20 quid. Um, all right, it's not the biggest, bushiest tree. You know, there's some beautiful, great big, wide Christmas trees. Um, from Balsam Hill, they're absolutely stunning. 400, 800 pound? Sorry, for four weeks of a year, I'm not doing it. I'm quite happy to have this tree for 20 quid <laughs> on a budget. Right, let's do a last pick, I think we'll put in there. And yeah. Perfect. 
actually doesn't need anything else doing to it. I've got my lights on there. I have got some extra big baubles as well, which I could go in and just fill some gaps in. Um, some of these are broken. So if you've got baubles, I mean, this is a glass one. Some of, some of mine have got the, the, the tops broken off. Um, so what I would do is just put a bit of glue on the end of there for my glue gun and just find a sprig and poke it in the sprig. And then when it comes to taking it all down, I just snip the end off of the, uh, with some wire cutters and it would just snip it off. So it's not gonna go to waste. Do not throw away your broken ball balls. Believe me, do not throw away. After Christmas, what I want to do is some really little, um, inexpensive upcycling of our Christmas bits, like our broken bits. Um, so I know it's gonna be post Christmas, but let's do it and then put them away. Then it's done for the following year, you know? So don't throw nothing away. Right, I'm gonna put a bit of glue in here. And all I'm doing, where the opening is there, I'm just gonna put it around the opening. Don't need too much. So you can see, drop a glue on there. I'm gonna find my gap. Now I've got a gap down here. I'm gonna bring it a bit closer actually. I'll probably need a bit more glue on here now. A minute. Hang on, I can't even do it with this in my hand. Let me just put this on first. But I have got a gap down here. I've got the end of the spruce and I'm putting it in the hole. Right, hang on a second. Now, now let me bring it down a little bit. Okay. Um, and then, so if I tip it down, where's the one? Which is here. Sorry, camera's wobbling. Which is here. It's a gorgeous ball ball. It's glass. I don't want it, don't, I'm not going to throw it away. Um, so I say, bit of glue, bit of glue in the middle of the, uh, the bit what's broken and then put it into a little twig or a spruce. So then I can go around and any broken or any ball balls which have got no tops on them, I can do the same thing. So I can find a space, put a bit of glue in the top there, literally like that, find an end and put that into the hole. If you find the hole's not wide enough, you can make the ball ball. You can make a hole on the ball ball slightly wider with your glue gun. Put the glue, let me find one, come on. Uh, let's do this one. So, if the branches are too thick and you can't get it in the hole, put your glue, if you've got, if you've got a temperature glue gun like I have, turn your temperature up high, please be careful not to burn yourself, it will be super hot. Then you put your nozzle in the end of the ball ball, this isn't quite hot enough, but what you would do is you would go like this and it will melt the opening and it will just make it slightly wider for you. And then I'm gonna go in, find another gap so I can see a gap here. Find a little end. And push it in. So one of them has come off. The little uh, cap is still on here. I can find it now, I've lost it. Where was it? Here it is. Um, and then I'll put a bit of glue on there and just stick that back on. And that's absolutely fine. But I'm really pleased how this has turned out. I've finally done the flipping tree. Um, I've got a couple more big ball balls. Do I need any more? Probably not. But let's see if, I, if I've got any gaps I can kind of fill around the top. No, I don't need those there. Maybe I'll just put one here. But to be honest with you, I probably don't need any more. 
bit of a gap here, so I can bridge this gap here in there. Because I've got a, a really shiny one there, I can put the matte finish and I can put that under there. Um, so I'm just going to get the top bit, get a bit of wire, thread it round, and then what I'll do is I'll tie it, tie it onto the branch. So I'm going to tie it from underneath, just to one of the spruces, and that will bridge that gap in. Go. So that's that's bridged that little gap in there now. So I can see I've got my line there, I've got my line there, and I've got a small line up here. See another one's just come off. This is this is the thing with these plastic ones. They lose. They're not that really tight on there. So when you start putting them together, the tops come apart. Um, I mean, what I do when I'm like doing customer orders, I take every top off and I put a bit of glue on it from a glue gun, and then I redo them again. It is tedious of doing every single one, but for my for my tree, I'm bother doing it. It's too long-winded. You know, life's too short to be worried about things like that. It's on there. It looks fine. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. Um, and then I've got some bits and pieces left over. But what I'm going to do is do the rest of the garland around the um, television. I've got some more baubles I can put on there. This was a bargain. I think I've showed you this before. It was from Home Bargains. It was a swag. Um, it must have been with something because it's come off. The original price was £13 and I got it for £3.99. So I'm gonna be taking this apart and it all comes apart, um, she says. Well, it's on wire and it's, you can see, it's all wobbly, so I can easily get that off of there. And I'm gonna take that apart and use the spruces off of there around to go around the garden. And then I'm, I'm practically done. <laughs> Guys, you take care. Uh, have a lovely rest of the evening and I'll see you all soon. Two pips.